Hey guys, just wanted to pop in a, uh, with a quick recording. Um, one of the people in the Domo community was talking about struggling with full authentication. Um, they were saying, hey, in my developer instance, I can run the full authentication pipeline that I've done in my YouTube video previously, and it works fine. But in my production instance of Domo, I'm unable to authenticate or get a session token in this method. And I ask them, oh, well, are you using direct, uh, are you using SSO, single sign-on? If you are using single sign-on, this full authentication pipeline will not work unless you have direct sign-on access. Let me say that again. If you're using SSO, you cannot use this full auth um, method unless your account has direct sign-on access in Domo. And all of this would be configured here under admin. Um, where's SSO? SSO. And then if this were configured at the top, there would be a button for direct sign-on list. Your account has to be on the direct sign-on list in order to use full auth, because you have to be able to manage credentials inside of Domo, which is, of course, what single sign-on tries to avoid. So what's your alternative? Your alternative is to create an access token. So what you would do is you go here, go ahead and generate an access token. You set it for yourself or whichever user needs to be able to hit these private APIs. You're going to set an expiration date and generate your token. The, the text in red says it all. Write it down because you're never going to see this again. OK. So now I can come back into my Python script here, and I could add a variable. Um, developer token is equal to you know what I copied from the other page. Obviously, you shouldn't have this in clear text. You should store it in some sort of an env file, but there you go. OK, now, this is something that confused me for a while, so I hope this makes sense. The developer token that I generate in Domo, we're going to use this for authenticating against private APIs. This is completely separate from the access token that you generated at developer.domo.com. Developer.domo.com is exclusively um, for creating access tokens that I can use against the public APIs. And those public APIs will always start with api.domo.com, blah, 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 blah. Any API that starts with myinstance.domo.com, that's a private or an undocumented API. We have to use the developer token or this full auth workflow that I've talked about in several videos already. I'll link a couple below. In case, um, because I have a developer token, I can skip this get full auth function. Then coming down here, let's say hypothetically I want to get a data flow. I get a data flow by hitting myinstance.domo.com. So that tells me, okay, this is a private API. Previously, I've showed you how to use a session token um, by calling this API. But instead of using a session token, I'm going to use that developer token that I generated in Domo just now. And then I'm going to swap out my header. So instead of using xdomo auth, authentication, I'm going to use xdomo developer token. And I'll pass in developer token. That's pretty much it. If I run my data flow, whoop, nope. In this call, I shouldn't call session token. I should be passing my developer token, my bad. OK, and so I get a response, right? So again, your two choices for the undocumented APIs are to either use the developer token that I generated here in security access tokens, or I generate a session token by using the full auth pipeline um, that I've documented here. I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the Slack user group. Find me on Data Crew. Links in the description below. All the things. Y'all have a good one.